What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys the various ways of connecting the Deco BE25 to create your main network at home. I have three of these and I'm going to talk about wired backhaul, wireless backhaul. I'm going to explain those things and actually show you guys with connections. I have a bunch of Ethernet cables. I also have a switch in case you guys want to expand your ports. So we're going to start off with the typical setup. And then we're going to basically essentially start from scratch and then connect everything using cable. So the typical setup is basically a cable modem and a router and the router might work great if you're close to it. But let's just say in one end of your house, you're just not getting that signal or sometimes it's just buffering too long. Or if you're trying to game, your ping is too high. Uh, whatever the case may be, you decided to go with the mesh system to get better coverage overall throughout your house. We're going to start off with this. So if you have a modem and a router, and the modem can also be an ONT, just think of this as your internet source, essentially. Uh, the modem just being the most common, that's why I'm using a modem. I actually at home use an ONT, which is an optical network terminal, which you get if you have uh, fiber internet. So, uh, but this, if you have cable internet. So we're just gonna use this as the modem, or you can replace this with your ONT or whatever else, that's your internet source. So that comes in, you have your router, I'm going to unplug the router and we're just going to move it. And then we're going to proceed to connect this guy. Now, before I connect this guy, let me just answer just a couple questions, uh, a common question. So number one, a question I get asked pretty often is, can I use my existing router and just add on the deco to it, to the network? And technically the answer is yes, you could do that. It's possible. You do need to go into the deco options inside the deco app. There's options to run the deco in access point mode. However, that's not something I recommend. Sometimes the Wi-Fi is clash with, you, with each other. And most of the time you want the deco to be your main network because typically you want your best router to be your main one. Uh, and it's just, it's just much easier if you just, replace the existing router rather than use it. Um, and then the other question I get asked is, what if I have a modem router combo where the router is built in? So what do I do with that? Well, the simple, the easiest way is to just call your ISP if you got it from your ISP, your internet service provider, and ask them to just replace the entire thing with just a modem. Um, which this is just a modem, it's not a modem around a combo. However, uh, if that's not something they do, you can technically disable the router portion of that. Uh, and typically the way you access that, it varies by model, but usually there's a sticker on it that tells you which IP address or maybe which link to go to, to access those setup instructions. And you wanna enable something called bridge mode. What bridge mode does, it essentially disables the router portion of it. Um, several models, models might have other instructions like maybe just disabling Wi-Fi uh, disables the router. So it really just depends. But what you want to do, the goal is to disable the router portion of that. So that leaves you with just a modem. Now, in that case, again, we're starting with this is just a modem. We unplug the router and we're going to connect it to the deco. Now, because these are auto sensing ports, it doesn't actually matter which one you connect it to. The deco will recognize it, so I'm going to connect it. And again, for this video, I'm omitting the power cables. Obviously, you do need power for this stuff. And for the cable modem, obviously, you need a coax connecting to here. And yes, obviously, you do need an ISP, so something you're paying monthly for to get uh, internet service. So after you connect this, at this point in time, you set it up in the deco app, and you are golden. So. Once you do this, you have your main router, you essentially replaced your existing router, and now your network is back up and running. And a question I get asked is, can I just get one of these? And the answer is yes, you could just get away with one. However, it's typically, I mean, typically when you're getting a mesh system, you're getting two or more. But yes, this would be enough, you're back up and running. You could use the same Wi-Fi name, which is called SSID uh, and password, and they're both case sensitive as your existing router that you replaced and your devices should automatically connect to the new one. So at this point in time, you're done. Now, without connecting the other two just yet, you could use the other ethernet port of this to connect your device. Let's say you have a computer or a laptop or something, you could just hook up the ethernet to this and hook this up to your laptop and it'll automatically detect it and you should have access to the network, which in theory should have access to the internet. Um, obviously, assuming you have a modem. So at this point in time, you're good. But in this video, we're going to talk about the mesh system. So we're going to show you guys the different ways of connecting this stuff. So one way of connecting it is called wired backhaul, which is otherwise known as called Ethernet backhaul. 
Uh, and the way you do that is basically you wire the first guy. So we connect this guy and you wire it to the second guy. And obviously these guys have power. So for the sake of this video, I'm omitting power, but obviously everything here needs power. And obviously your modem, uh, if you have a cable modem, you do need the coax to come and connect to that. Um, so I'm omitting that for the video. But basically what you do is now from this router, you go to this one and this is now acting as an access point. And you can pick either one of the two ports. So you can pick the left one or the right one because they're auto sensing, it doesn't matter. So at this point in time, the Deco app will recognize the second one. It takes a minute or two, this boots up and, and it recognizes it. And now you just increased your Wi-Fi coverage. So if you're walking throughout your home, let me bring my, my phones right here. Okay, so if you have your Wi-Fi device and now you're walking throughout your home, if you're closer to this one, they'll switch you here. And let's say this is two or three rooms away. If you get closer to this one, it will connect you here automatically when you're connected to the same Wi-Fi name. So it's not like, oh, this one has a different Wi-Fi name than this one. No, it's all the same. When you're walking throughout your home, the Deco system automatically detects which one you're closer to, which one should get you a better signal, and it automatically switches you to the appropriate one. So. At this point, now you have two systems, you're getting better Wi-Fi coverage, and you're golden. Now, if you got a three-pack, a question I get asked is, well, let's actually connect this with wired, and then I'll, I'll answer the other question. So in order to connect this guy to this guy, we're basically going to do the same thing. So connect an Ethernet port here. So once I could get this in here, <laughs> there it is. This one was the cables just a tad bit thick uh, and again pick any one of the two and then you're golden so now in this case you have three setups let's say you live in a larger home so when you're walking throughout your house uh, if you're closer to this one I'll switch you here if you're closer to this one I'll automatically link you here if you're closer to this one I'll automatically link you here and let's just say you happen to be watching something uh, let's say there's a video playing or something like that it's not Assuming you have a good enough internet connection, you have good enough internet speeds, it won't lag when you're switching between these. It's not like the video is gonna pause and then switch over to the next one and then start playing again. No, it's all seamless. So that's the beauty of getting a mesh system. So now we have a full wired backhaul setup, which is typically the best way of connecting it to ensure the best possible speeds. 12 seconds later. So now I remove the ethernet cables. Now we get into wireless backhaul and this is the more convenient setup because you might not always have the possibility of running ethernet cables throughout your home. And this is just super convenient with the drawback, potential drawback of it's gonna affect some of its performance. So what I mean by that is that if you're connected to the secondary ones that's wire, that's on wireless backhaul, that's wirelessly talking to the main one, it's, if you were to do a speed test, it wouldn't be quite as fast as if you were to do a speed test if you were closer to this main one. So the way you set up wireless backhaul, and let's start with the two pack, then we'll move into the three pack, is this main one still needs to be hooked up to the modem via ethernet and obviously powered on and everything. The second one, all you do is just power it on. Now, if it came as a two pack or a three pack, if you powered it on, it would automatically connect and the Deco app tells you when to do this, uh, but it would automatically connect. And then just like with wired backhaul, if I was walking throughout the home, if I were closer here, it'd connect me here. If I was closer here, it would connect me here. So basically it would work the same way to the user. However, if I was closer to this one, if I were to do a speed test, again, it wouldn't technically be quite as fast. So still very, still very usable speeds. I mean, again, depending on your internet speeds, I should mention that. Uh, but very, very simple, connected to the power. This guy is wireless, wirelessly talking to this one and you're done. Uh, if you got a three pack, same thing. You could power this one, you could power this one. And typically, it depends on your home, how thick your walls are and everything, but typically it should be around 25 to 40 feet away from the main router. And if you can do the setup, if, if it's possible, you kind of want to do it where this guy is wirelessly talking to this guy and this guy is wirelessly talking to this guy. And what I mean by that is if, if this is your home, you kind of want this centrally placed if it's a possibility because if, if this guy, let's say if you do it this way where this guy needs to hop to this guy, then this guy needs to hop to this guy, this guy's gonna be even slower because now it needs to make two hops 
Instead of if it was here, it would just need to make one hop. So hopefully that part makes sense. Okay, so that covers the wireless backhaul setup, which is the most convenient setup. Um, now let's get into a few questions I get asked. Can you mix wired and wireless backhaul setup? Yes, you can. So you could have one of these wired. Let's say you you already have ethernet cables going to one room. You could literally just wire this up, wire up one of these, and have the other one in, be in wireless backhaul. So you could do it this way, and, and then you're, you're good to go. So you can mix and match wired and wireless backhaul, no issues with that. Now, let's say you need, let's say you have a wireless backhaul setup, and you want to connect a device to a via Ethernet. Can you do that? And the answer is yes, you can. So even though this is wirelessly talking to the main one, you could use any one of these two ports. So I'm going to connect that and you can actually connect this to that device. In fact, if you do this, typically, I mean, depending on what kind of hardware you have on the other device, but you can actually get faster speeds if you do it this way, even though this is wirelessly talking to this guy. And the reason for that is, again, we're eliminating one more wireless. So let's say you had a laptop, but just pretend my phone is the laptop. So let's say you had a laptop, if this laptop is wirelessly talking to this guy and this guy's wirelessly talking to that one, you have two wireless hops. So whereas, let's uh, again, assume this is a laptop and assume I'm going to connect an Ethernet to it. Now if I have an Ethernet connecting to it, I now have an Ethernet connecting to this. So there's no wireless hop yet until I go from here to here. So you can actually, in theory, depending on the hardware you have, you can actually get faster speeds like this. Just keep that in mind. So that's a question I get asked. In fact, I do separate videos on some of the routers where I actually do this just to demonstrate that you actually do get faster speeds. Okay, so now the other question I get asked is how do I add more ports? And the simplest way to add ports is if you get a switch. Now this happens to be a plus switch so it has a few more features, but you don't actually need the plus switch unless you're trying to make a VLAN or something like that. You could just get a regular unmanaged switch and I'll, I'll link that down below where it's fairly inexpensive to add ports. So what you do, and the, the brand name of the switch doesn't actually matter. Uh, so I could get a Netgear switch connected to this, no issue. I could get a TP-Link switch connected to this, no issue, doesn't matter. So I should mention that with the switches. So what I do is I get a switch, and this switch happens to be 2.5 gigabits on this side, and up to gigabit on this side. So because this is a DECO system that can go up to 2.5 gigabit speeds, assuming your internet is, uh, is up to 2.5, let's say you have two gigabit internet speeds, for example, I would need to use the left side ports to continue that two point, uh, to continue that two gigabit internet speed. So I would pick one of these four, it doesn't matter which one of the four it is, as long as it's in the 2.5 section. If I were to connect it to the gig section, I would be capping the speeds to gigabit. So in order to connect this to the Deco, I would actually want to connect it to the 2.5, and then from the rest, I could go 2.5 out, or I could go gigabit out. So for this one, I could connect it to any. I could connect it to the main one, or I could connect it to the secondary one. Um, so this this part doesn't matter actually. So I could connect it to this guy, and now this switch is part of this network, and then you're good to go. You can use the other ports to connect to other devices. And in fact, what you could do, there's a lot of ways of connecting the switch. So what you could also do is, instead of connecting the switch to the secondary one, I could connect the switch to the primary one. So connect it here. And then I, that goes to the switch. So the primary router goes to the switch. And then I can connect this guy to the switch. And again, I want to connect it to the 2.5 gigabit side so I don't lose that. Because if I connect it to the gigabit side, even though it's going, even though this is a 2.5 gigabit port, as soon as it goes out from the gigabit port, I now cap the speed to gigabit speed. So I don't want to do that. Um, if, if you have internet speeds of faster than gigabit, you want to use the 2.5 gigabit ports. You can also connect, if you wanted to, bring in these ethernet cables, this 2.5 to, let me bring it longer. I literally got the shortest cable. <laughs> um, okay, so if I wanted to, I could connect this guy to this other, to the, to the third one right here. Uh, and again, these are auto sensing ports, so it doesn't matter which one I connect it to. And now 
I went from this guy to this guy to these two. Now, the most common, pro I, I want to say the most common question. The most, I, I believe it's the most common, but a very, very common question I get asked is, can I connect the modem to the switch and then from the switch go to all three decos? And the answer is no. So you need to go from the modem to the first deco first. That, this is the most important, uh, this black ethernet cable that, that's connected to this guy, literally the most important thing. As long as this is done, you have a lot of free play after that. You can go from this guy to this guy, you can go from this guy to, to the switch, then to this guy, you can go from this guy to this guy to the switch, then to this guy, you could go from this guy to this guy to this guy, then this guy to the switch. All of that's fine. The most important thing is this guy goes to the modem. That is the most important thing. You can't go from this guy to switch, then to the rest of them. So. As long as you do that, you're good to go. You could even, if you wanted to, let me disconnect all this stuff. I have a lot of ethernet cables now. Okay, so let's, let's remove these just to, so there won't be any confusion or anything. Um, so let's say if we went to the wireless backhaul setup um, and these two are wirelessly talking to this guy, you can even connect the ethernet port from here to the switch. That's also fine too. So, and then you can use this switch to connect to other devices. So if you wanted to hook up something to your PlayStation, now if you have a PlayStation 5, that's limited to gigabit speeds anyways, so you could just use the gig port for that. Uh, you could also use the 2.5 gig port for that as well, but if you have limited sets of 2.5 gigabit ports and for the PlayStation is gigabit anyways, I would just connect it to the gigabit port. Uh, and then if you want to connect it to your Xbox, if you want to connect it to your Roku, if you want to connect it to your computer, uh, you're free to use these. You can even bring another switch and connect it to this switch from any port of the switch to the other port. Uh, but again, keep in mind that if you want to go from the 2.5, you need to go from one of these 2.5s. So the switch also kind of has auto sensing ports if you want to think about it that way. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, smash that subscribe button, like the video, share the video. So there will be a lot more like it. I'll do a full on review for this as well. In fact, it'll probably be out sh fairly soon if it hasn't been already by the time you're watching this video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.